going on guys welcome back to the channel I am super excited for today's video we are gonna be up in Monaco for four days that is where we are standing right now we are on some ice we're gonna be doing some ice camping for you guys tonight it has been a long time since I fished with my buddy Aiden so I'm with Aiden thanks for holding the camera for the beginning but we are gonna get some light set up we got the lights set up we're gonna get some GoPros set up I'm super excited we had a little mishap on the way here that delayed us a little bit. Um, Aiden and I drove up separately and Aiden hit some black ice and decided to spin around and do a 360 in the middle of the road and land in the median. So we had to wait like four hours for a tow truck. So we finally got his ass out and uh, we are now in Monaco four hours later. It is approximately, let's see what time it is, 519. So it is prime time right now. We're gonna be going for some walleyes and uh, we filmed in this spot last year and it was good. So. I'm going to let Aiden talk a little bit about what our setup is here, and uh, let's go drill some holes. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go! There's I'm ready. Let's go. Stick with us. Stay tuned. Let's go. Guys, we got the setup. Now we just got to wait for the fish. Big old walleyes. We came here last year, and boy, was it fun. We smacked the walleyes while we were sleeping. We didn't really film an overnight video, so that's what we're going to try to do for you guys here today. We got the cot set up. As you can see, I got a cot on my right. That's going to be my bed. We're also going to be doing some catching cooks with that new Buddy Flex. That should be really great. We got some lights set up, and we're going to drill some auger holes, and hopefully we can get on some big old walleyes. What do you think, Tony? I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Let's go. All right, guys. Little tip or trick for you guys here. Pick up some of these floor mats. You can get these at Walmart or any sort of online store. Amazon sells them. All they are is little, like, half inch foam workout mats put these down it keeps the snow off from your feet when you're in here we need a couple more of these we're gonna go buy some more but you can cover this whole thing and it's basically also keeps your shanty insulated and nice and warm so we're gonna get these heaters started hopefully it doesn't get too cold tonight i want to go over the shack real quick we have the clam it's a new shack from last year we have the clam x600 thermal this thing is so far, the favorite shack I've ever used. I, uh, I've used it a few times this year, and this is gonna be my first time camping in it, so I'm really excited to kinda hunker down and get some lines popping in here, but I love this shanty. It's insulated, it's giant. You could probably fit another person in here, honestly, to sleep and fish. Um, I think it's like 96 square feet or something, and uh, it's giant, but yeah, if you guys are in the market for a shanty, I know they're kind of out of stock this year on like everything in the world, um, but you guys can go to Clam and pick up one of these shanties, because how big this thing is. I can do jumping jacks. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, look at the mark shooting out. Holy sh! That's what happened. Okay, man. Okay. Watch this shit. Oh, dude, it's taking line. It's taking line. I got one. No. Sh Holy sh Are you serious? Yeah. Turn, take this. the bells off. Guys, I'm setting up the camera. This is what happened last year. We set up one jaw jacker. I think he's got it. Where's my? Oh, dude, look at, he's got it. Got him. No way. Already. Camera, camera, camera. First wall, I baby. First wall. Oh, my gosh. No one's even set up. There's Down another there. mark down there. Pull up, pull up. Right, we got guys. a jig, dude. No, we're going to. All right, guys. First walleye of the night. We are on them, boys. We're not even fishing yet. We're not even fishing yet. And I just tried to drop down my jaw jacker. We already got a walleye. Maybe what do you know? get to set it. Hold on, I'm going to turn this light up. First walleye of the night. Beautiful, probably 17, 18 inch. You can't keep these walleyes in this lake, but beautiful specimen. All right, we're gonna send this guy back. All right, couldn't even set up my jaw jacker before he hit. Had That's what happened the GoPro. last time. Yeah. Had to use the GoPro. The, remember, remember last time, the last Look year? Look at this, guys. We got There's one. There's two fish on the screen. Two fish. Remember last year when you were gone yeah. and I was setting up the jaw jacker and it went off? Yeah. That's... Same thing. Exactly what just happened. And I couldn't even set it. That's what I was talking about. They wow. just start shooting up. Oh, look at them. Wow, there's three fish. All right, yeah, we need to fish. Tell them to leave the money in your mailbox. Ooh, giant mark, two giant marks. Oh, giant mark from out. Here we go, here we go. That's a walleye. Oh, that's a giant mark. Might be coming out here. That's a definite walleye. There it is. Yep. She on. On the jaw jacker. That feels like a good one. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Oh, nice walleye. Are we rolling? We rolling. Yeah, we're rolling. She a good one? Yeah, she a good one. Like what, 20? Oh, oh, okay. Good start to the day right there. On the jaw jacker. All right guys, there you have it. Beautiful walleye. 
perfect eating size. Can't eat these walleyes in this lake. It's super good fishery, and we want to keep it that way. So I'm gonna send this big girl home back where she is. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Walleye number two. I'm gonna reset that jaw jacker. That was cool. Got him, got him. Hooked up. Jigging. Crappie. Crappie, guys. Yes, sir. We got crappie. On the Euro Tactic. Let's go. Nighttime crappie? Here we go, guys. Nighttime crappie? Nighttime crappie. Look at that. Beautiful crappie. On the Euro Tackle, 1 8 ounce. Bluegill color. Here we go. Oh, go down the hole. Do you have a camera set up? Uh, negative. All right, guys, quick time check for you. It is uh, currently 7.03 o'clock at night. And we have, well, I haven't caught actually. I haven't caught anything yet. Um, all eyes and one crappie so far. I've been kind of focused on just trying to get the cameras all over. I still got another camera to set up, but I got too lazy to do that one, so. So, Aiden, what, you got two walleyes? Two walleyes, two one Two walleyes, crappie. one crappie. Yeah, we are fishing with jaw jacker there, and then there's another jaw jacker right next to Aiden over there. And then I'm just kind of dead sticking right now because there ain't no action up in here. So I got a minnow right here, and then Aiden's drinking the Z-Viber still. So, all right, fellas, we are getting ready to hit the hay. Aiden's uh, gonna. Check his jaw jacker here and just put a new minnow on it. Probably put a new minnow on that one. I'm gonna put a new minnow on mine. We're just gonna get everything reset. Probably add another one here in my hole. Um, or I might do a dead stick, I don't know yet. Depends what I feel like doing. But we're gonna get ready to lay low, hit the hay. It is currently like 11 o'clock. What is it, right? 11? Yep, about 11. Or uh, yeah, it's 10:15. Uh, so we are gonna just kind of start laying low. Um, walleyes are still kind of rolling through on the screen every once in a while. So, um, did you lose your minnow? Yeah. Rip. Sorry, he set off his jaw jacker and lost his minnow. But yeah, so we're just going to get set up. Kind of, I might add another jaw jacker here in this hole. But we're going to hope that we can uh, start waking up some walleyes. So the next time I see you guys will be with a walleye on the end of my rod, hopefully. Or Aiden's rod as well. So that will be the next time, hopefully, we pick up this camera. A few moments later. At the hole. Whoa, whoa. All right, whoa. guys. It's a little hard to film because we're sleeping. It's probably what one and two in the morning almost. Is it really only that? Oh yeah. Oh my God! It's only midnight. I thought it was like five a.m. Uh, it's only midnight. There's another walleye. Whoa. Going back, we've already missed three in the last like hour or so. Walleye. Going back. On the jaw jacker. Alright guys, we are a little tangled right now. Anyways, we got a fish. Alright, I think you're... What the hell? It's got both treble hooks in its mouth. Take a look at that. Treble hook, absolutely. Right in the top of the mouth, right where you want it. I'm just going to poke that treble out, if I can get it out. So I'll cut my fingers up. Walleye's in bed, it doesn't get much better than this. A little bit bigger fish. <gasps> Nothing huge, look at that, just absolutely spiked up. Beautiful fish. I mean, these walleyes are biting, but it is negative 15 out right now. She Ooh, it's cold. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Catching walleyes in bed. Can't get much better than that. Oh I'm yeah. I'm sleeping over here. <laughs> yeah guys but it is getting really cold really fast and it's only like 1245 so I'm gonna get these lines back in hopefully we can bang out a few more walleyes hopefully Tony can get one here soon it's been a little quiet on his side of the shanty which is weird the but the same everything yeah one eternity later it's going yeah okay you're good fight that fish boy oh uh, I just woke up <laughs> I swear to God, I was in dead sleep. I got a fish on here apparently. Let's see if she's still on. Oh, 
We hooked up, boys. Oh, that's a good one. Dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh no. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. That's a fat. And a good one. Oh jeez. Oh, Hell yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's probably a 21, 22 incher. Yeah. Beauty. Hell yeah. I'm gonna grab a quick pic of this guy because uh, I finally caught a fish. And I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh yeah, late night boys. I'm so tired. Big old fatties. Going back. Oh. We'll see you later, mama. See ya. Woohoo! Let's go! We have done it. Again. <laughs> I'm so tired. Time to go back to sleep. Many, many minutes later. Fellas, it is uh, currently 7.28 in the morning and it is currently negative 13. Oh my god. This oh, I got a mark on me. Negative 13 degrees. Aiden's got a mark on him apparently, but it feels like negative 19 right now. Uh, according to this feels like thing. So it's it's getting cold in here. As you guys can see, my shack is coated in whiteness. This is normally black. And it's, it's all iced, it's iced over from last night. I slept like a baby though, so that's good. We had, I think, five uh, jaw jackers go off last night. And we caught, what was it, three or two out of the five jaw jackers that went off? I don't know, I caught one, so. Tony caught one and caught I two caught two. One. Okay, so we had three. Three successful fish catches. We missed another probably three or four on the dead stick. Um, so yeah, it was an eventful night. And the fish seemed to come in waves. A fish would come and then another fish would come about five minutes later. And Tony stuck a big one there um, at probably four in the morning. So yeah, but it's chilly. You can see my breath in here. Ice camping's uh, definitely something you have to be prepared for when you come out here. Ooh, she bright out here. So this guy decided to hop off the trail and come. Here's my sled. Here's his trail. Right here. Here's our shack. He came within one, two, three, four steps. He came within four steps of our shack right there. And he was just like ripping up and down here. And uh, there's kind of the island that we're chilling by. But yeah, so there's another sled. But yeah, he came right through here, and uh, apparently, apparently Aiden heard him or whatever. I didn't hear him. I was asleep most of the time. So, well, we're gonna we're gonna go shoot over to this deep basin. There's a deep basin behind us here, so we're in about 12 feet, and then there's like a 30 foot hole right over yonder. So we're gonna go um, jig that 30 foot hole. We're just gonna go with GoPros. It's like literally still negative. 12 out here I think negative 11 or something like that out here still so we're not gonna bring this big camera at all because it's probably just gonna not work so so yeah we're gonna leave the camera in the shack we're gonna go with GoPros we're gonna head on over to the deep basin with some rods hopefully go catch some walleye some crappies some perch so stick with us stay tuned let's go quick little time check for you um, it's 220 in the afternoon so we have uh, we're approaching 24 hours here on the ice are we catching a ton of fish not really no we're not unfortunately um i think we, we caught a few walleyes last night um we did go out and scavenge for some perch and uh we did end up catching a few nothing really worth talking about maybe i think my biggest was like seven seven and a half inches maybe so nothing nothing too crazy um aiden ran to go get some lunch here i'm just kind of getting everything organized and trying to man down the tent here um, we got two lines set right now. I have one here and Aiden's got one there. We could have three a person right now, but it's so so cold out still that like it's you don't really want to set your fish. You don't want to set anything outside because if we go catch a fish outside, um, that fish is not going to do well um, out of the water for very long outside of the shack. So um, we're just trying to kind of keep it in the shack. And then plus the holes are going to freeze in like two seconds. So he's going to come back with some food and hopefully... We can pour, put some more fish topside for you guys because I, we're grinding. We're grinding and the goal is a 25 inch walleye, like a fat mama. That's at least 25 inches would be. Oh man, just thinking about that, it's just giving me the, giving me the shivers. I just, that, that's all I want. And I know this spot, we guys, we set up on this spot because this spot 
we know is like a nighttime walleye spot. It's a hump, right? So all the fish that are out in the deeps are coming in to feed right at nighttime. So around sunset, seven, eight o'clock is when the bite really heats up here. And uh, we kind of experienced that last night as soon as we got here. Um, Aiden didn't even set his jaw jacker down all the way and it already had a fish on it. So we're gonna hunker down. We're gonna stay through sunset. We're gonna have to walk back in the dark. We're not gonna camp again, I don't think. Um, but we're going to definitely, definitely fulfill the 24 hour um, mark and uh, hopefully get on some, some walleyes. I'm gonna get everything organized get ready for the night bite because uh in about two hours man these things should just start flying out of the water hopefully so hopefully we can hit that 25 inch giant mama for you guys so stick with us stay tuned i know i keep saying that but it's going to be a good night yes for those of you guys that don't know i have fished with cody before he's been on the channel once before down in milwaukee and we caught some giant trout. trout. Cody, have you been on my channel other than big trouts? <laughs> have you been on my channel other than catching big fish, fish, fish? Yes, sir. Well, that's a good one. Which round? Which round? Oh, shit. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Bring him over. I'm not in the hole. Let me pause the video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, she's going nuts. I got, I got. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Going nuts. There she is, boys. We have been waiting quite a while for this girl to munch the jaw jacker. And uh, we are seeing fish. Seeing fish is... Relax. Seeing fish does not seem to be the problem. The problem seems to be getting them to eat. So they are being very picky. It's also still in the negatives. So that could be why. All right, there she is. Not a giant by any means. Probably a nice little 16 inches. This would be a great eater if we were eating, but we're not. So uh, I'm going to get this girl right back. This is probably a male, actually, but we're going to get him right back. All right, boys. New video just went live, and we slamming walleyes. Let's go. Oh, that's man. good. We're Finally, good. got a freaking walleye. Dude, they've been in and out. I don't know why. Oh, he's racing up. Yeah, he's all over my bait right now. He's racing up. Oh, there's a giant mark up at 10 feet, too. Shit. Big mark up at 10 feet. They're moving through. Oh, he just shot down. Oh, he's shooting really quick to something. Just suspended mark nine feet. Oh, yeah. That's a thicky. That's a thicky. That's a thicky. I got him. Yeah? Yeah. Walleye? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, it's definitely walleye. On the tungstens, dude. Oh, crappie. Big crappie. Giant crappie. Yes. Dude, what did I say? Those are crappies. Let's go. Woo, we got a crappie. Dude, I literally just said those were crappie. All right, that is a nice crappie. I am so excited. Like I absolutely hammered the tungsten jig. That's probably a 13. A midnight slab. Oh, yeah. That's what you call a dinner plate. Dinner plate. Here's my hand. Here's the crappie. Covers it up. Let's go. Crappie going back. Here we go. There she goes. All right. So cool. So, like, when it gets cold, it gets even stiffer. It's locked up. Yeah. Oh. What the f Yep. Yep. I heard that. She off. She off. Rip, dude. Damn. She take your middle? Yep. Yep. She, it hit it once. Yeah. And then it hit it again yeah. and set it off. How did it not get hooked? I don't know. No clue. Oh yeah, mark flying in. Holy sh They're here. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh. Good one? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Big head shakes. That's a big ball. Oh, all eye, baby. Oh, yeah. Got him? Yep. On the Z-Viber. These are the new Match the Hatch Euro Tackle 1 8 ounce Z-Vibers. Absolutely a killer for these walleyes. This guy just absolutely crushed it. Let me get this guy unhooked here. There's a mark down there. Is that your bait? That's my bait. Okay. All right. Another walleye going back. This guy's ready to go. Woo! 
There he goes. Bite's turning on. That is the second fish within the last like 10 minutes. I just caught a pretty nice crappie. So nice walleye to top it off. Hopefully the bite's turning on here. It looks like it is. So we're going to keep fishing and hopefully we get some more. But jaw jackers are not really going off. It's more of a jig bite now. So hopefully that means the fish are a little more aggressive. Yeah, guys, check them out. The new Euro Tackle Z Viber 1 8 ounce. Super good bait super versatile and it looks exactly like a bait fish so we'll leave the link down in the description for you guys to go check out those and uh yeah let's get jigging later that night uh, <laughs> Aiden what are you watching right now what is that no clue Chinese something all right guys little change of scenery we are back yeah so that's where we're at we're in a cabin so it's kind of nice, finally, to have some some heating and some real some real house vibes because uh, it was getting a little chilly out there. Not gonna lie, Aiden, would you like to say any words? And it just feels good to be back in the warmth. We got this whole house to ourselves. We got a whole loft upstairs with three beds. Shout out to the Beacons. We rented this house, so this will keep us warm for the next few days. If you're gonna camp on the ice, make sure that you're doing it right. Make sure you have the right equipment because you don't wanna freeze your ass off. We were cold because it got down to negative 25 degrees, but we sure had fun. We caught some fish, so I'm excited to finally hit the hay here, relax. We gotta unpack this whole car. Nonetheless, we got on some fish, and we're gonna end it in this beautiful home. Yeah guys, exactly what Aiden said. It is nice to be back, and like he said, make sure you guys are doing this right. You guys never wanna head out there and just say you're gonna ice camp, because I promise you, if you get out there and you say you're gonna ice camp and you don't have the right stuff, you're gonna be not ice camping real quick because it can get cold out there. Like Aiden said, it got down to negative 25 um, out there and we were in the middle of a lake. But yeah, so Aiden and I got this house to ourselves. It's gonna be real nice. I'm gonna probably start editing this video. We gotta get the stuff all out of the uh, out of the, the cars because I'll play a clip from our Instagram that I just posted. All right guys, for all you think that filming YouTube videos and uh, doing a nice little camping video. It's all fun and games. This is one trunk. This is my car trunk. All full to the brim full of junk. Got Aiden right here. And we got, oh look, car number two. Full of junk. Um, that's what our cars look like and it's not pretty. But yeah guys, if you guys wanna see any more camping videos or any sort of videos like this anymore this year, definitely leave a comment down below, let us know. We're gonna be here for three more days catching some more walleyes, probably some crappies, probably some bluegills. What else is in this lake? Uh, trout? Bass. No trout? Guys, look at what we got up there. I don't know if that's a ferret or if that's a mink or what. I don't know why it's on the ceiling, but that thing's freaking creepy. And I don't like it up there. Guys, comment down below if you know what that thing He's is. He's gonna be in your bed tonight. I hope not. <laughs> guys, also comment down below the coldest you've ever been out ice camping. We wanna know. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys will leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you've camped in, what temperature it got down to, if you guys have ever caught walleyes through the ice, if you guys are into ice fishing. Obviously, you guys, I hope you guys are into ice fishing if you're watching this video. But that's gonna do it. We're gonna get cooking some food because I'm hungry and we're probably gonna go sit in the hot tub too because it's all nice and warm. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and we will see you in the next one. Peace.